Plotting Grid Bearings To take a grid bearing from a map, the compass can be used as a protractor, ignoring the compass needle. To read a grid bearing from one grid reference to another, place the compass with a long side on the line between the two references and with the sighting arrow in the direction of travel. Next, holding the compass in position on the map, turn the dial so that the meridian lines are parallel to the eastings, ensuring that the north on your dial is towards the top of your map. The bearing may now be read from the graduated dial at the index pointer. Upon completion of these steps, your compass has coincidentally been set to the bearing for your objective. By rotating the whole compass until you line up the rear end of the magnetic needle between the orienting points on your orienting arrow, your compass will be pointing in the direction of your objective. Holding the compass at waist height, straight in front of you, march in the direction of the line of travel. As long as the compass needle and the orienting arrow are kept in coincidence, the sighting or line of travel arrow will remain on the bearing. For night marches, the luminous bar on the magnetic needle and the two orienting points on the orienting arrow will assist in maintaining this coincidence. The line of travel is indicated by the luminous sighting arrow, index point and sight. The do's and don'ts. Following are a few of the do's and don'ts of navigating with a map or compass. Always do. Approach navigation with confidence. An in-depth map study and, if possible, a physical reconnaissance. Make a route card for all map and compass marches. Once correctly set, always trust your compass. Backtrack to a prominent known spot as soon as you think you are lost. Don't wait until you are. Your own calculation of declinations before using any compass. Use a backup pacer and map reader, especially for night operations. And navigate around major obstacles using three 90-degree legs or bearings. And if you can avoid it, don't. Dismiss out of hand the advice or doubts of others. Trust that back tracks, wood lines, orchards, or the outer edge of towns or suburbs will be accurately reflected on your map. Go around major obstacles on the same side. Alternate, first left, then right. Sight your compass on near or intermediate objects during compass marches. Use the furthest away at all times. And, accept in exact pacing. The average person takes 120 paces to cover 100 meters when going cross-country on open ground. The normal rate of advance is 2.4 kilometers per hour during the day and 1.6 kilometers per hour at night, depending on terrain.